We've gotten some interesting news from CIG for 2024 for base building. And I think you need to hear this. Essentially saying that Star Citizen is becoming a space combat game and not what Chris Roberts pitched us originally. Here's a quick snippet of what he said in the spectrum. He says, watching the latest videos announcing the salvage missions, distribution centers, and now master modes and many more, it seems that this is nothing but a space combat game. And in your own words, that this is exactly where it's heading, it seems. I don't care for PvP, but I'm not against it at all, nor am I against piracy or aggressive NPCs that pirate and throw kill or whatever. But the diverse universe that Chris Roberts pitched us, where players will all have their place and be able to enjoy the game, has all but disappeared in the few years as it has appeared to be moving towards being a space combat game with videos releasing before new content showing how hostile and combat is going to be to force on players in the new missions. Throw PvE players a bone every once in a while and at least make it look like we have something to look forward to beside being content for PvP. I believe this is a valid question that he posed but uh, Richard from CIG responded with that he wanted to quickly address the feeling that Star Citizen is all about combat and nothing else. As someone who is responsible for the big picture, I want to personally reassure all citizens out there that combat is just a facet of the game we are making. I know all the features that are currently in development, we spend a huge time on things that are nothing to do with combat. For example, in 3.3 we should be introducing freight elevators, which is a long-standing feature that should enhance the cargo hauling gameplay loop. We are also pushing for a brand new cargo hauling mission to greater support this. Post 3.23, we also have huge plans, not ideas for the next 10 years, but tangible plans in action. We talked about at CitizenCon, which will involve lots of non-combat gameplay loops like base building and crafting that will also unlock further missions and loops like research for crafting, blueprints, exploration, scanning, and excavation of materials both in space and on planets, etc, etc. Not even including the dynamic economy. Quantum, man, that is huge. So essentially what they pitched in uh, CitizenCon last year is exactly what they intend to drop post 3.23. So that's going to be the 4.0 build. So 4.0 is going to be a drastically different game from what we see with the three uh three point uh branch and uh it's looking exciting man the fact that uh they're working on base building as this soon is is crazy i thought base building was going to take a long time and um and we we had some leaks um indicating that we will be getting base building sooner than we thought but um this is more concrete proof that they actually have base building right at the door and yeah, it makes sense because they have a lot of the assets already worked out already, um, but we just haven't seen it. And um, I'm really excited about even the exploration, scanning, and excavation material of materials, and also the dynamic economy that's also coming, which is quantum. This is going to be huge. He also goes on and says combat is one of the many core loops that exist in Star Citizen but it's not the only one. So if an ISC or email or segment seems focused on one aspect of Star Citizen, that's exactly what it is. It's focused on one aspect, not all of Star Citizen. Also, in regards to PvE and PvP, again, rest assured that the plan includes systems like Stanton being heavily policed with swift retribution for crime and shield technology that will protect landing zones and stations. This does not mean criminality cannot happen, but the risk should be great. Then we will have systems that are lawless like Pyro, and those systems will offer greater rewards for traders and haulers, but at an increased risk to piracy. All these systems will come into the game, and we will also have dedicated gameplay just for PvP players in lawless systems, but for another time. I also know our community can only react to what they see from us. So hopefully this post gives a little more insight to the bigger picture 
at hand. This was a great response. I'm glad that they um, they actually took the time and responded to this and give us some more insight on what the future plans, the near future plans. I'm pleasantly surprised that uh, we're actually going to be getting base building this soon. Honestly, I didn't think it would take this um, uh, this short of a time uh, for us to see it, but hearing about it and seeing that it's coming down the line, it's huge. I think this is going to be the year that the development of Star Citizen has drastically escalated um, since the Squadron 42 teams have merged over to the PU team. Hey, I just started a new gameplay series where my player character has been hacked by an AI entity. Please check it out in this video right here and let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you there.